What's up guys, my name is Anton Soares, and in this video we are going to be talking about the Talos Secure Workstation by Raptor Engineering. And this was brought to my attention by Eddie, and his uh, comment is down below, you can see his comment there. He uh, messaged me privately about, can you talk about the Talos Secure Workstation, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And I really like getting requests like this because I didn't really know about the Talos Secure Workstation. I think I saw this article around the time it was published, but I kind of brushed over it, didn't think about it, didn't really look into or read what was it really about. But now with his comment, I looked into it and it's awesome and I want to talk about it. So the Talos Secure Workstation is kind of like an open source hardware platform built on the... It's built on the IBM open source friendly Power 8 processor. And the Raptor engineers claim Talos is the world's first ATX workstation class mainboard for the new open source friendly IBM Power 8 processor and architecture. So, like, this is a cool thing. I like to see open source hardware. It gives a new flavor to things and it gives a new direction that technology is going where we kind of have the mainstream hardware, but we kind of have this cool niche of a market where it's. It's custom hardware. It's hardware that cool engineering teams are making, and it's custom. Now, the average consumer is not going to be buying the Talos Secure Workstation as it costs 3100 US dollars, and it's more for high-performance server-grade tasks. And it's kind of it's kind of cool to see the also the progression of the PowerPC platform or the or IBM's uh, basic chip, their CPU. Um, how it's evolved from kind of being mainstream with Apple products back in from 2000, I think, to 07. I'm not sure on the exact date, but it's kind of cool to see where PowerPC and Power and these ABM processors were used in Apple, used mainstream, were, were a mainstream kind of guy, and then Apple switched to Intel, and then they kind of popped off the map for at least consumer grade. I, I believe that they're being used for server grade for a while, but... Then again, Intel Exeon have been kind of uncontested with server-grade uh, CPUs in the last 10 years, I'd say. Um, but seeing this cool new open-source technology where it's open-source hardware, an ATX motherboard that's really open. I have some notes here. Open schematics. Uh, it uses a ton of, there's a plethora in the article, there's a plethora of PCI Express slots and includes GPIO header along with open schematics and full open and audible firmware. So these boards and this kind of custom hardware is really geared toward the hardcore server application, the really, really narrowed down server application. And it kind of almost works with containerization where you have different containers based on certain applications, you can really narrow down your server now to exactly what you need, exactly what you want, and you can go down and edit your firmware. I also wanted to highlight the Raptor engineering team themselves, and I'll have the website and the article in the description below, and they cover some more uh, specs about the actual Talos Secure workstation and the specifications here for what this server-grade motherboard is going to give you, but they also have some other hardware, and I do like that they have a they have some cool different things they worked on a precision three channel delay generator not sure what that does but I did see a nice uh, Aptina camera module with a very high pixel resolution I think that's 4K either if it's not 4K it's pretty damn close and that's kind of cool that they make other types of open hardware this is a a high definition Aptina uh, uh, camera based module that uh, native high resolution um, 2592 by 1944 pixel resolution and can operate at a frame rate of up to 60 FPS and that's pretty cool and it's an it's a it's a camera module so the Raptor engineering team they're pretty cool and I'm, I'm happy to know they exist now because they're like an engineering team that is for open source, they're making open source hardware that the average consumer, well not the average consumer, but the the person who needs a, a specific hardware for something and really the, the ability to tailor a server or something down to that, you really can do that. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about the Talos Secure Workstation and the Raptor Engineering Team? I think that it's a cool step in a direction that we haven't really seen before where it's custom 
hardware for open source purposes and open source applications, which is cool. I like that. I like open source stuff. If you have recommendations for other topics, things I might not know about, things like this, and like Eddie, he commented something he had an interest to and wanted to hear my opinion, and I really do appreciate that. As always, my name's Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.